spooning with Rima. Rima to Weirta, not to Wyatta. That's right. Which I've been saying for years. Yeah, I know. <sighs> but I never, you know, I, I, I think I've mentioned it a couple of times, but... Sorry. What? Your hair is just really irritating. Is that a vibrator? No, no, it's just, I'm just getting rid of some of this. Oh. So just going back to what I was saying before, everybody's yeah. always mispronouncing your name as Tawaita, not yeah. Tawita. Yeah, or Tawitatia, you know, or Tawati, which actually is a nickname as well. Tawati, Tawati. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tawati spaghetti. <laughs> Tawati spaghetti. It looks nice from the back. Does it? Yeah, it looks good. Ooh. Do you feel liberated? Do you feel free? Oh, thank goodness. When you're like 40, it really starts hitting home. If you count how much money that you spend on your hair mm -hmm, mm -hmm. over a lifetime, it's crazy. It's yeah. really, really crazy. You are not spunky unless you've got blow-dried hair mm. and you've got big Kim Kardashian eyebrows drawn on. It's just exhausting. And I really think that women should just, especially my age group, should just forget it. It just goes on and on, more and more money mm -hmm. going on your flipping hair just because you might not feel attractive. Who gives a stuff just do it you can say the f word if you want no i won't no. <laughs> you have such a huge body how, how long have you been working for over how 40 dare years? you yeah. such a huge body <laughs> miss no you, you rushed on and you didn't say of work you, you said such a huge body see it's all because of my new hair now see Rima, you have such a huge body of work of of work <laughs> <laughs> How does the zone that you sit in now as an actor compared to the zone you're sitting in, say, like 15, 20 years ago? Does it feel a lot different? Yeah, it does. I mean, the, the funny girl thing that was on me for ages. Mm. I mean, I, I'm really, really lucky because people in, in you know, the theatre world have gone, oh, give her a straight role for a while. And, you know, and so that balances it out, which is really mm. great. Um, but it, it's otherwise, it's just impossible to keep stretching yourself and, and, mm. and having, you know, challenges that don't make you feel stale well i really want to try writing some stuff for a while and even mm -hmm. even for about about seven years i was too scared to even say that to anyone but your generation is really really brave mm. and Tyka's generation really really brave people you just get out there and go i'm not waiting to you know i'm not at the mercy of anyone i'm just going to go off and do my own thing my generation that wasn't the case it's this is what you do you wait for people to hire you and you keep working within this, you know, this sort of way. You don't have your own ideas. You don't, you don't do that. There's quite a few people like us mm. who need something to kick against before mm. they actually feel really creative when they can break through, if you know what I mean. They go, no, 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 no yeah. bang. Yeah, I'd rather you know, be put inside yeah. like a little cage so I can fight my way out than that's being put it. in front of a big, in a big field and told to do whatever I want. That's it, yeah. that's it. Should we swap, should we swap oh. big spoon, little spoon? You, you climb over me. I, and you can schnuffy back. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, can I have Tedley? Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Did you always have positive relationships with your parents? No. Uh, that, no, of course not. No, no, not always. I mean, you know, it, I think that most people have struggles. My mother was going through menopause at the same time as I was um, getting my period. So that was... Double whammy. It was double whammy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But as, as I got older, it, it, it did get easier. And then when she got dementia when she got much older mm. I, I learned a lot about compassion from that, from that period even though it was so, not that sort of period <laughs> mm. but um you'd learn a lot from that particular period that, that you had <laughs> 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 yeah but I did I learned, I learned heaps of compassion and um patience mm. and just understanding that you know when, when the mind does go it's it's mm. it's full on. It's mm. so hard watching that journey, mm. but and they call it the long goodbye, you know, when someone gets dementia. But yeah. I she argued with the with the lady who told me that because I, I said, well, it's not really, is it? It's a continuing hello. <laughs> <laughs> because that's, that's that's my job is to continue to say hello. So it's mm. not a long goodbye. And you feel you know the. She, just, she didn't recognise you at all? Yes, she, she did. did. Okay. She did. A couple of times, she, she recognised me, but she couldn't think who I was. Right. Which she knew she loved me, but she couldn't think who I was. Okay. And you don't want them to feel stupid either, you mm. know? Because when it first strikes, and you start noticing little things, 
you can get a bit mean without really realising it, too impatient with them, because mm-hmm. you just assume that nobody you know will ever get dementia, mm. you know. So uh, when they keep forgetting stuff, you go, I've told you that, I said that, blah, blah, blah. It, do- it doesn't get much worse than that initial thing if you have to put them into a retirement village uh, where they can get 24-hour care. Like I tried for 15 weeks looking after mum before I made that decision mm-hmm. and um, you still got to make them feel really good it's like it's a little bit like having a kid and putting them in boarding school yeah it goes but this it's yeah. exactly goes full circle doesn't yeah, you, it you've got to you've got to make them trust that you'll you'll still be there for them you're not abandoning them you know mm. well well done I hope thanks you, you know you should be proud of yourself thanks i am proud of myself mm. actually about mm. that because um yeah or, or i sort of made up for all the stupid teenage you yeah. know stuff yeah. and just okay this is it I've, I've now got to be more compassionate and more patient and I'm, I'm going to do these regular mm. visits all the time I'm actually going to sacrifice this and this to stay here it's quite I'm fair isn't it considering, yeah, how, much considering how much they've done for yeah. you mm. um e- even when it gets to a point where they might not remember you although you know that doesn't matter all that matters is that they know that that you are the person they can trust and, and who they they kind of recognise, you know, they recognise the love in you mm. and stuff. And and that's what matters. It's not so much, oh, I can't now remember your name. Who cares, you know? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the love still exists. The, love's, the love will break through that. Mm. Yeah. Th- this is so deep. Okay, I'm going to sleep now. I'm over it. Are you over it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to crash out as well. You're gonna make us something to eat when we wake up? Yeah, yeah, probably. I'll just reckon omelette or something. Omelette? I'm trying to sleep, dude. Sorry. Dude! Dude! Can I call you dude? Yeah, I Babe. Call... I'm trying to sleep, babe. <laughs>